In this video, we're going to show you how to install the dryer side rear ABS speed sensor on your Ford 500. If you have a hubcap, go ahead and pop that off. Using your 19 millimeter socket, loosen and remove the lug nuts. With the lug nuts removed, grab the wheel, pull it off and set it aside. In the rear center of the vehicle, you're gonna find these wires right here. This one right here is the ABS wire for the driver's side rear. So we wanna go ahead and disconnect this connector from this harness right here. Now there's a little push tab right here. You can push that in, wiggle that connector out. Now what we wanna do is work on removing this harness from the little plastic push pins or tabs all the way over to the driver's side wheel. On the top here, there's a plastic retainer clip. I'm gonna use a trim tool. I wanna to go ahead and release this plastic clip. And go ahead and pull that wire back and out. On the top of the rear load control arm here, our wire is held in by a little metal retainer clip. So we're just gonna use our pocket screwdriver, open that up. And pull that wire out. And then we'll continue to pull this out and around. On the bottom side of the knuckle, you're gonna see the ABS wire going up using a number eight socket and our extension just go ahead and loosen and remove the bolt holding this in place. Now what we're gonna try doing is we're going to use the insert, this little brass insert with our tool here and just gently tap this. And we're trying to loosen this up so we can pull this sensor down and out of the knuckle. Now sometimes these break off inside and that'll be something that we'll have to tackle if that happens. We're going to grab some pliers and gently grab this here and try and twist that out. So go ahead and pull that sensor out. Going to install the new sensor, push that up and inside. Install the bolt. I want to get that caught a few threads. Once we have that caught, we're going to go ahead and snug that bolt down. Now, once that bolt bottoms out, it just bottomed out there. Just give it a little bit more, not even a full quarter turn. Just snug it down into place. Now we can go ahead and start running our wire across and over to the other end. Now on the top of our rear control arm here is that little metal clip. Our new ABS wire comes with its own clip. So I'm gonna use a small pry bar. Just go up underneath, gently pry and pop that little guy right out. Go ahead and discard that. Now we're gonna go ahead and start to run our wire along the back side of this arm. Now right here is a plastic clip that will insert into a hole right on the back side here, right by the 
sway bar end link. Bring our harness up and over. And we have our metal retaining clip right here. What we'll do is line that up with that little slot on the top. Press that in and snap it into place. With those locked in, go ahead and continue to run your wire up and over. Install our plastic retainer right here. Push that into that hole. Connect the connector right here to the main harness. Line that up, push it in. Make sure you can feel and hear it snap into place. And then just give that a little wiggle, make sure that that is locked in. And now go ahead and install your wheel. Grab your wheel, line it up onto the wheel studs. Get all the lug nuts started by hand first. Once those are installed, I'm gonna go ahead and snug them all down. Using your 19 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and torque down the wheel to 95 foot pounds. And if you're installing a hubcap, you want to look for the little notch on the bottom here that's going to fit the valve stem. Line that up and gently tap that cap into place and you're all set. Take it for a road test. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.